phone. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate um, uh, inviting me to come and share insight um, uh, of what I know. I uh, haven't joined IPOB in 2015. I will start by introducing my name. I am Madam Erewa, and my age, I am 73 years old. I am a mother and of uh, four successful young so uh, sons, very successful, I thank God. I'm a grandmother. I am a widow. I am in Shakiri Urobo speaking Biafran from coastal region, Biafra land. When I joined IPOB in November 2015, that was exactly one month after the illegal arrest and kidnap of our leader, Mazi Namdi Kanu. I frantically want to join IPOB. And um, I found uh, I was connected to Mazi Victor Ebona in Boston, Massachusetts, USA. And from there, I was introduced to other members Toshuku, Ikwanusi, and the rest of them. And then I was introduced to OBN, who at the time in that November 2015 was IPOB USA National Coordinator. He wasn't in the time zone. USA is very, very large. It has four time zones. So the time zone that I am is Eastern time, very far from Pacific time in Los Angeles, California, where OBG, OBNU is. So OBG, OBNU conducted, administered my oath by phone. Instantly, I was made the coordinator to coordinate the unit for Massachusetts IPOB. Even though I just joined, I gladly accepted it. And uh, actually, we worked as a team. We had one. We worked as a team. We paid our dues, uh, whatever levies we paid. Uh, whatever account that OBGOBNU provided, we paid. And I was representing um, my unit in the meeting. I will call into the meeting. But there was something I noticed about the meeting. OBGOBNU will call the meeting, but he is not the one running the meeting. The meeting was being run by others. I don't know who they are, but they are the one running the meeting. And when I try to ask some specific question, very critical question, uh, I will be muted out. I notice I could hear the discussions going on, not very organized uh, meeting, but I could hear the discussions going on. And when I try to respond, I begin to notice that I am not being heard. There was one particular instance they were going to vote. I was told to call in. So I called in. They didn't even say it's a vote. They were doing some voting. And as soon as I called in, I was being asked, who am I voting? For I said, I don't know what this is for. What is this vote about? All the people who voted for him, he voted in support of whatever it is. Then he voted for 
his uh, wife. His wife wasn't even at that uh, meeting, but he got a for his wife. So that's when I asked and said, what, what is this vote for? And uh, by the way, Obidi, why are you voting for your wife? I was muted out. I was cut off. But I stayed on and others, he was muting others out and I could see others calling back in and saying, Obidi, why did you mute me out? Why are you muting me out? So I knew I wasn't the only one that OBD was muting out. It was all about money. Uh, you pay levies, then you pay pledge, then you pay dues, and all this we were paying into the whatever account that he provided. And they will not give you details. They will not give us any details. And when you ask, all we did say is command and control. You don't have any right to ask where is this money being paid into. During this time, Clifford Iwanya I were DOS. So I, I couldn't comprehend uh, DOS, what is uh, the chain of command? What is a DOS? What is the role of DOS? I couldn't comprehend a deputy, a, the role of deputy, the coordinators. I kept asking because I am very curious. Then he will send me, sometimes somebody will send me to Clifford. And Clifford will put me through. So with time, I came to know the chain of command. There were problems, a lot of problems. Nipod Iwanya, a deputy himself, was having issues with DOS. But I think Omiomio and them were in charge of DOS. And the deputy was having problems with uh, DOS. So a meeting was called, and we were called into that meeting. Clifford was supposed to be in that meeting, uh, uh, Iwanya, and deputy was supposed to be in that meeting. They were supposed to present. A, he said they uh, they use code to the DOS. They will use code to talk to be doing meeting. He didn't know what code they were using, so he was not left in the dark. So shortly after this meeting. Uh, DOS suspended Obidiobien. In the meantime, Obidiobien will have problems, had a lot of problems with IPOB USA. People, they were very unhappy with him. So when he was suspended, many people appreciated uh, that DOS took that stand. And so, uh, they decided that U.S. will be run by four time zones. Eastern time, I will be the one, I was made to, to be the coordinator for Eastern time, and then you have the other three. And now, during the course of this, it didn't play well with deputy that OBJBN was suspended. He didn't play well with deputy um, about uh, dividing U.S. Somehow, D.O.S., we heard that there is no more D.O.S. It was all scrapped. And uh, before we knew it, OBD was brought back. And he resumed his uh, position. So all the structures that we put in place, we were going to use to make U.S. to be formidable uh, time zone and for each time, each, each uh, U.S. time to work together in collaboration to make IPOB USA to be powerful uh, was, uh, was uh, basically scrapped. And uh, it was back to. And so OBDOVNU was uh, now 
uh, the the continental rep at first, then from IPOB USA continental rep, Obiobiano became North American rep to so include Canada. And uh, Gordi Erushalu became the um, uh, was made the national coordinator. So the communication was very fragmented. So when this happened, um, uh, I was put on DOS because I was coordinator of, Ma of uh, Massachusetts. And Massachusetts was very neat, tight. We were working together, and it was one. So I was then already said I will be on DOS. I got a call from a uh, deputy, and uh, he said I'm going to be on DOS. I said I I, I appreciated it. I thanked him. I said okay. Then already he told me that since I'm coming on DOS, I should now relinquish the role I am uh, as um, IPOB, uh, the coordinator for Massachusetts. I said, okay. And it was given to Toshuku. As soon as that was given to Toshuku, Toshuku Ikwanusi asked me to tender my debit card the debit card because it was victor ebona and myself we had signatory we were sending our money directly to germany because the money they were paying inside this one uh, they call it national account i made a search and i found that it was a shareholders account it, it wasn't really a non-profit account. It was a shareholders account, which of course I I, I made that very clear. So if it's a shareholders account, then I asked OBD, why don't you let IPOB members in USA know that it's a shareholders account you are running? Why do you make them to think that they are big and non-profit. Why don't you let them know that they are shareholders, you know? So that, the, 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 it didn't play well. It didn't even play well with Clifford Iwanya either. But I'm talking about OBD Obienu, so I will focus on OBD Obienu and deputy in this, uh, in, in this uh, uh, presentation here. So now, when they knew, I know, that they were running a shareholders account, I, I became a target. Uh, anything I say, they oppose. I became a bad person. Um, OBD on DOS, him and deputy, they were ganking up on me. I, uh, uh, it, it was terrible. It was terrible, I, mu I must say you know, that I went through in the hands of OBD and deputy, you know. So now we stayed on. When, uh, 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 when I became aware in March, I became aware March 2018 is when I became aware that deputy and OBD, OBD they were not with leader. That was after leaders and whereabout was not known. Because September is when uh, they went to September 2017 is when they went, the zoo went to leaders' uh, uh, um, um, uh, private residence. To, uh, to, 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 they wanted to go and eliminate him. But God saved him. Although we lost 28 IPOB members, we lost a, a leader's dog, a leader's parents' life went into this, and I think leader's relative, a blood relative went into this, you know. So it, there was a loss there. But God spared the leader. So leader's whereabout was not known. 
During the course of uh, when leaders uh, whereabouts was not known, uh, I got a lot of uh, um, uh, uh, warnings from deputy. And I hope I will have enough time now to share these uh, warnings. The first warning that I got from deputy was during the no election in Anambra, I was still on DOS at the time. Uh, the discussion was, it was discussed, and that uh, flyers should be designed, and uh, it should be sent to uh, the deputy HOD uh, for approval. You know, uh, Tony, uh, Mazi Tony Zurumike, I believe was the, is, uh, uh, is the deputy HOD. Uh, in Germany, we should send it there. At that time, I was still in communication also with um, with um, uh, head of finance, uh, Mrs. Uh, and so we designed our uh, my unit. We designed our flyer, very nice. We we spent time in it, and we sent it to HOD. HOD looked at it, he approved it. We even Madame Minenaya loved it. She commended it. And then we sent it to um, we sent it to um, the the uh, uh, the deputy HOD. As soon as we sent it to the deputy uh, HOD, um, Deputy uh, uh, Uche Mepo sent me a query email. He said, I should have known better not to send that flyer to uh, uh, Tony Zumike. That I'm supposed to have sent the flyer to Obi Diobienu and that I sh I'm on DOS. I should have known that Obi Jobienu is the uh, North American rep. So I responded in that email that, well, deputy, it was discussed on GOS that we should submit the flyer to, um, to um, uh, you know, deputy HOD, and that's why I sent it. But if you say so, he said it is command and control. I said, okay, if you say so, I will send a flyer to uh, uh, Mazi Obidiobi. So I sent the flyer to Mazi Obidiobi, which, even though I felt pain, but with all due respect. Till today, as I'm making this presentation, Obidio Bienu never responded. He never acknowledged the receipt of that flyer. Even though I sent a reminder, as the time was drawing closer, I sent a reminder. I said, because I am seeing other flyers, but I'm not seeing our own. There was no response, not from OBD and not from deputy. So we went on, you know. The second instance that I again got a query from a, a deputy was a discussion that was held on BOS about Biafran Telegraph. It's a magazine that should be purchased, and we are to tell our respective members of our unit or zone to purchase the flyer. And I, that was a message at the magazine. So I brought it to my meeting, and members were very happy. They were very happy that there is a Biafra Telegraph as, as a matter of fact, some acknowledge that they have seen it. 
So we we decided that we will order, we will buy. And the question was, where do they send the money? I said that's a good question. I don't know. I will find out from the head of uh, finance, who is uh, Mrs. Uh, Nenanya. So I called her. She told me I should call HOD. I said, okay. So I contacted HOD. HOD sent the, uh, the information. He said it's Australia. I, I, I gave the name. I think I'm Zio Fuma also. I said, okay. So I contacted him, and uh, he sent the... Uh, you know, the, the information where to send the money and we sent the money. Because the it was discussed on DOS, I thought it's okay for me to let DOS HOD know that you know we my unit we purchase the background telegram. Instead it was a query I got from uh, a deputy and he, I mean, he said you don't have to tell the world that uh, you uh, your, your unit bought uh, uh, bought uh, this uh, Biafra telegram he sent me the email I responded that well with all due respect uh, deputy I, I it was discussed and because it was discussed on DOS and that it's okay for us to go tell our members. So I thought it's okay to give a feedback to DOS that I actually carried out as discussed and my unit bought. He said it's command and control and that I, I, I didn't have to let everybody know that uh, my unit bought. So that was the second time query I got. The third query that I got from a deputy, um, it had to do with how Obidiobienu was interfering with our Massachusetts IPOB. How he came, he was splitting it. He, 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 he took Tokuki Pakusi now, being the being the coordinator of uh, of uh, of uh, of uh, our unit, he used Toshuko Ikwanusi, Denis Ukatu, uh, Toshuko Unjoku, um, uh, Eric Ugwaka, and uh, Promise Otaluka. He used them to come and cause serious problem. We were no longer getting along. Toshuko Ikwanusi is everything about Obidobian. You dare not ask question. If you ask question, is oh we are we are uh, doing uh, we are not listening. You know, even Toshuko went as far as calling me vindictive. He called me vindictive. You know, and uh, we, it got to a point. We we asked. Can we have, is it possible to have two, uh, 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 two, uh, that is more than one? Because we were no longer getting along at all. It was like head along. I, 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 I could not believe it. So we contacted uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Madam Nenanya to make inquiry. So June 16th, I remember that one, uh, June 16th, let me see, June 16th, 2017. It was on a Sunday. A leader was still in prison at that time, uh, uh, Kuje prison. He called a meeting. Uh, there was a meeting of DOS. We were all in that meeting. It was kind. That's when leader made it clear that every uh, IPOB USA unit is autonomous. You can send your money directly to Germany. And uh, so, you know, you can have more than one. So that was done. And when leader made that uh, announcement, that was a relief to us. 
So we now went to register our own unit. So we now have two IPOB in, uh, in Massachusetts. And the account that we have, uh, we had two checking accounts. One had the money that Tochuku and his group uh, that uh, we are causing problem. Uh, we had to let them have that uh, that very checking, and we had our own. Now, when uh, it was time for Tochuku to uh, go and register their own IPOB so they can have their account, it was had it was a problem. Believe you me, OBD caused a lot of problems for us. So in the end, they told us that they have already got the account. So we thought they have registered their name and uh, they want us to transfer the money into the account that they, uh, they, they opened. Am I coming out? Yes, oh, you okay. are. You, you are. Go, ahead. go on. Go okay, on. thank you. So we, uh, they wanted us to now transfer the money. So we transferred the money to the account and tender their account and we closed that checking account. You know what? October, October of 2017, you are not going to believe what we found. I went to the Secretary of State in Massachusetts because every year you must have to do what you call annual report. So I went to do annual report of our, our unit. And when I walked into the Secretary of State and I gave the name, they told us that we didn't exist. And I told them, no, I said our unit does exist. I'm the one that registered it. I told them we have two. They said, oh, then maybe that explains it. They went back to check. When the, the man came back and told me that Tochoko Ikwanusi promised Otanuka, they, they went and swapped their name over our name. So they started using our own information to be sending money to Germany. You know, we from IROS. So that could have, uh, so we closed it and opened another one. And then we informed IROS that we no longer use that registration number. So IROS recognized what we wrote. And in other words, in order for Toshuku Ikwanusi to be able to send money for bank, to, to, for bank to, to send money, he must have to apply for what you call EIN. They didn't want to do that. Then they started sending their money to uh, to, uh, to the whatever account that OBD has. Uh, then they started scandalous in my name. Anything is my head. They scandalous my name across the United States of America and beyond. That I am this, I, 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 if people didn't see me, they would think I am evil. That's what OBD did. That's what Toshuku did. You know, so we went on. We went on. Now, a leader finally came out. We, you know, we were very happy. But why leader was still, uh, we didn't know. We women, women, uh, IPOB women, uh, USA, we decided that. Uh, let us uh, let us form a women's wing, and let us be going on air. Let us do awareness and bring women in to the struggle, and then reach out to other women worldwide. So this was the plan. 
and we were going to do this through Mazi Alozie, and this was now in 2018. So we Mazi Alozie worked with us. Uh, we were um, uh, we were uh, um, uh, four. Myself uh, that represent uh, uh, Ichekiri Urobo speaking, and then we have Epic to talk about, uh, uh, to show that uh, uh, the second man in command to um, uh, bless his uh, memory, um, uh, Ojuku, is uh, Philip Efiong. Then we have two uh, from Igbo speaking, but from two different parts of uh, Igbo speaking uh, Biafran. So we did that. We went on air. We did very well. And uh, on the 18th, March 18th, we did very well. A lot of people, I think, calls were flooding. We are flooding uh, Mazia Lozier's uh, uh, radio. I think he had to block it because people could not wait to call him. And then uh, after we finished, Mazia Lozier called. He congratulated us. We also designed a flyer. The flyer, we introduced ourselves as indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, not America, women coalition, under the leadership of Mazunam Rikanu, and also we said a deputy leader. We put it. After we did the broadcast on March 18, 2018, OBD went wild. He was mad. He carried on. He said whatever we went to do on Radio Biafra, we didn't have any right. He said we didn't pay. We didn't pay our levies. We did not pay our due. Whereas we paid it all. I paid seven levies, including our man. As I'm talking, I pay my dues on time. You know, he accused us. He said we were supposed to go and be talking about transmitter levy. He said we are not supposed to say that IPOB is under the leadership of Namdi Khan. That's when I knew that OBT is not with leader. He said USA, he is the leader of USA IPOB. So we turned out, we submitted appeal to deputy. And that's how I also came to know that deputy is not with leader. I have known that since 2018, what people know today. So we turned out appeal, petition to deputy about what OBD said. The flyer, he went, he, re he resubmitted the flyer. He redesigned the same flyer that we created. OBD redesigned it and took out. From that flyer, he took out under the leadership of Lamdi Khan. He wiped it out and also wiped out uh, uh, deputy leader. And he made himself the leader of USA. So we stand up appeal that a petition that what OBD did is beyond accepted. We will not accept it. And that we are recommending that we are not saying that OBD should be removed, but we are saying that this, this role, he is not fit to be the uh, the con the rep they should give him another role and put somebody that could move us forward and that obd is destroying usa but to our surprise hello knock on wood people you are not going to believe this deputy sent me a query he said we didn't have any right to submit any any petition against OBJ. He said I should have known better 
is command and control. I should have known better I'm on DOS. I should have known better that I, uh, I'm not supposed to do that. And that he agreed with OBJOBLU that IPOB is not under the leadership of Namdi Kanu. As I talk, God is my witness. That's why I, we asked deputy, if IPOB is not under the leadership of Namdi Kanu, could you then tell us under whose leadership is IPOB? That's when I, I also asked him, what the heck am I doing on DOS? If IPOB, I came into IPOB, all of us came into IPOB, true leader, you know, because of him and the message that he sent. Now you are telling us, you agree with OBD that IPOB is not under the leadership of Namdi Kanu. Then, under whose leadership it is? Uh, Deputy did not respond back to us. He, he did not. We sent, and the men, the men got upset. They too sent deputy their own petition about all of this, all of this. What OBD is doing, how he has turned U.S. into pieces. So, by June, uh, deputy was, uh, uh, we had that deputy is coming to the U.S. And he's, he, we, we thought he was coming to fix the problem of U.S. in June 2018. First, he was going to Canada. We thought he was coming to fix the problem of North America because OBG was the rep uh, for the whole of uh, North America. So I even went to... Uh, to Canada myself, you know. That's when I saw deputy for the first time I saw HOD. And then I flew back to uh, to um, uh, U.S. And uh, June, uh, two days genocide exhibition was going to happen in U.S.A. And uh, deputy, when he left, Canada, after they finish what they did in Canada, thinking that uh, everything is uh, is working, is here to fix, he flew to, he flew to uh, uh, Los Angeles to meet, uh, to see uh, Obi-Jobian uh, with HOD. They all went. And there was one other doctor that came along with them. I'm, I can't remember the name of the doctor, but there were three of them. So we all went to um, um, Washington, D.C. for the two days genocide uh, exhibition and town hall meeting. Lo and behold, Obidiobienu never came. We were all cramped in this small hall. And uh, at this time now, uh, Erushalu is no longer the... Uh, the national, it is now Dr. Clement Okoro. So he is the one that uh, conducted this whole, uh, I mean, he will talk for hours. Everybody will just sit there listening. Nobody is there. For that two days, after the, after the uh, genocide exhi exhibition where we watch all the history, the control deputy. I'm telling you people. Deputy we we hook in a device. They could not hear this one. He will hook OBJOBN in a device. OBJOBN will come and talk to us. Through a device, all of us go sit down there. He will cause whoever he wants to cause. Yeah, he, he had fight with almost all the people. He go cause who he want cause, insult who he wants insult. Uh, Doctor Colum in uh, Pennsylvania, yeah, yeah, that one get a fall out. He go back and forth. For the first day, all of us just did it like a bow. Uh, uh, you will not talk. We just sit down there, listen, and that end. The second day of the genocide exhibition. 
They told us, say 9 a.m. Make we show up for the hall. 9 a.m. Now they tell us. Uh, food not day. Nothing. You know? We all went. We came back. 9 a.m. We were there. The door they never even open up. The fire, one person finally came, they opened the door and left. We were there for 9 a.m. till about 12. Children, little children, wake come hungry, don't they kill them? I even took some across where more they go buy food. 12, 9 deputy can show up. Which, uh, uh, what did they call them? Uh, the national coordinator. Now, now then they show up. I was sitting in the front. As soon as they saw me, you know what they did? They went through the back door and entered through back door because they know, say, I will ask them. Now, nine o'clock business. So they all went through the back door, including the deputy himself. So they said the hall door opened. So we all entered. Again, is the same scenario until it got to my turn. Uh, that day, because now day two. So I had opportunity now to ask questions, others did. And I asked critical questions. I asked OBJOBNU, my first question to OBJOBNU in that June was, OBJ, why are you not here in this genocide exhibition? Why are you not here, OBJOBNU? And you call yourself the North American Red? You are not here. You are talking to us through a device. Each time I ask OBJOBN a question, that you think will, will stop me. He will tell me I'm being disrespectful, but I'm asking truthful questions. Then I asked about money. OBJ, you can ask the people to pay money into the account. You even made people who were paying through units. You told them that if they live in another state, they should pay into this account. How did it come about? America is a country of law and order. How did it come about that you only job you? You are in California, Pacific time, and you came to Delaware in uh, Eastern time to open an account. What ID did you use? Because there is no bank that will establish account for you, except somebody that is in Delaware, you know, open that account. And then the person is sending money to you. Stopping me and I will not stop. I will not stop. I went on. I went on because I want people to know that OBD is 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 defrauding people, you know, and we cannot allow our unit to be defrauded. We are sending our money to Germany. But explain to this explain how. How is it? What is the name? That you think didn't want it. So why did OBD do? OBD said, OBD accused me. He said, I am not a Biafran. He said, I am a Nigerian agent. And that I'm working for Nigeria agent. For Nigeria. I'll tell you, if I were to leave IPOB, that's when I would have done so. I had already taken my bag. I was mad. Deputy sat there. He did not tell Obi Jobienu, no. It was HOD, Mazni, Shika, and and every member who did not, who are not a uh, cabal to OBD, that the, the, the whole went, I mean, you know, I was going to take my bag. Deputy came, uh, I mean, HOD came to meet me. He put his hand on my shoulder and said, Madam, please, calm down. And the uh, Mazi Obona, they all came and calmed me down. But then I talked to her, I, talk, I talked to myself, I said, wait, uh, I love the OA. 
because of Obi Jobin. So I will call let Obi Jobin to make me to leave uh, and this deputy to make me to leave IPOB. I thought about leader, though I have not seen leader, but I thought about the struggle. I thought about all he went through. I thought about how he has suffered for this struggle. Now I said to myself, I said, this man, this Obi Jobin, he not reach anything to make me leave IPOB. So I stepped back forward. And that's when I said, I said, you know what? The, our leader has suffered more than this. So any insult when I get here, including the insult when Tochuku lie, I said, I take him as a permit to run because I am staying in this struggle. I think it must have been, it shot deputy and uh, OBG there. And I stayed on. And I continued uh, serving my unit and doing what I need to do. They go about, they tell people that our unit is not recognized and everything. Now, uh, that was a query uh, that happened. The first query that I got from a deputy was uh, when... Uh, and I, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to reflect on that, that query. Was the hearing, the hearing of, uh, we went on air, which I've alluded to. That was the fourth query, you know, that we got. And uh, Nida came out and we, I, I was so happy Nida came out in Israel, and oh, it was so pleasing uh, to see Nida. I said I will go and see Nida in Israel. And knowing what deputy, knowing the, the type of people they are, I didn't let deputy know I was going to Israel. I didn't let OBD know I was going to Israel. Because if I let them know, they will go and lie to Nida. As you see the two of them, so lie, the biggest liar, uh, the God will create them, and God lies, and I created the two of them. So I didn't let them know. I on my arrange and I went to see leader. I went there, I saw leader, I did let leader know the problems of a uh, of, uh, USC. Uh, it wasn't fixed, you know, and uh, something should be done. You are supposed to play a role in this struggle. Why should you as be so fragmented? And if the person when he there in charge, Obi Jobienu, is not uh, performing proper. I don't know why deputy will not nobody is saying that he should take a OBD out, but put somebody who can do the job and give him another role. They said no, you don't have any right to do that. You know, so I mean, I was honest, and neither, I mean, thank God I saw him with my two naked eyes, and God will bless uh, his parents, okay? I, I mean, a I, I, very, very reverent human being. He cares, and you can see it. He cares about Biafra. You can see it in him. He doesn't play with Biafra, you know? So, Everything they said, he rejected in jail and said, it must be Biafra. Yes, it's true. Because I saw it with my eyes in him, in Israel. And I can attest to that. Yes, yeah, so. So, Linda was uh, gracious enough to invite me to come on air in Israel, and he let people know I was there to, you know, to see, to see him, and uh, and that was all head loose. <laughs> uh, my name went into it. I was candolous in this U.S., and I will not be surprised. They must have also went and destroyed my name to leader and say all kinds of manners of lies. But I didn't weaver because 
If they didn't, it didn't bother me. I continued on. If OBD can tell me in June, say me, I'm not a, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a Biafran. I'm a Nigerian agent and I stayed on. I didn't worry what they had to go tell me that. Yeah, because I know they, they must have done that. Lies. So, you know, uh, I didn't worry. I'm glad I went to see Nida and I saw him with my two naked eyes. So now uh, we went on. I continued to so cut our unit. Only the block our unit. So when people... Uh, from the IPOB. So when people when one join IPOB, uh, 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 send message. He go send them to. He go send them to Toshuku. He did in in Washington D.C. Please, I forgot to mention. Deputy dismantled uh, um, groups that were legally registered. Uh, Joel Jeku. Uh, 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 the reason that you could not touch my unit is because he knew even though he did all those evil things to me him and nobody that you knew that if he had dismantled my unit oh god I know I know for and not for green. Now, Lord, now protect G with them. So he did not touch our unit. But what they did, they started going about, they started telling people that our unit is not recognized and that uh, neither didn't recognize our unit. So this was the lies they started spreading. Toshuku Ikwanusi. And this Toshuku Ikwanusi, meanwhile, he is holding meeting in Nigerian house here. Nigerian house, the Igbos in that house, they don't belong to IPOB. When they do events, they will charge Toshuku $500 for Toshuku to hold a, a, a table. And they will not even go to that table. Members of that Toshuku group, now that same house, now lower Niger Congress, they do meeting in Randolph. That same house, nine Lower Niger Congress go first do meeting, finish before they go call that uh, Toshuku and in group go home meeting. Members who are in Toshuku group, Tennis Ukatu, Promise Otaluka, they are members of Lower Niger Congress. Could you imagine that? They are in IPOB with uh, 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 Toshuku and the same members, they are in Lower Niger Congress and they are all having meeting in the same house. Are you hearing me? Are you people hearing me? Go on, go on, so, go on. <laughs> yes, so today I go expose the whole team. Yes. <laughs> so if, now... If I know they hear you, I will, if, I will talk. <laughs> and so it went on. The fifth email, which is uh, the one I got from a uh, deputy, had to do with um, an issue, an email that I sent to Obidiobien. And that was in April, April 2019. It came to my attention that deputy himself and uh, uh, and uh, uh, Clement Okoro, they went on Radio Biafra to announce that Tochuku Ikwanusi is the state coordinator, IPOB state coordinator for Massachusetts. We were not involved. Uh, they did not invite uh, Victor Ebuna to the meeting, but they made that announcement and it came to my attention. So when it came to my attention uh, in uh, April 1st, 2019, I then sent an email to OBG, OBN. And uh, my email to OBG, OBN was, it came to my attention that Deputy and Clement 
went uh, uh, Clement Okoro made an announcement that um, uh, Toshuku is the state coordinator, Massachusetts state coordinator, uh, uh, IPOB. That wasn't to our attention, our knowledge. How is it that that happened and we didn't know about it? Could you please, you being the rep for U.S. and uh, North America, so I am coming to you because we have been instructed. The next thing is I got, I got, a, I, I will read, if you people don't mind, I, ha I hope I have enough time. I will read the, um, the what came from, uh, from deputy. I want to read that one. Yeah. Yes. On April 3rd, because it was April 1st, 2019, that I wrote that, asking OBD to please explain why that happened. Instead, it was deputy that I got what I'm about to read from. Deputy sent this by email to me on April 3rd, 2019, precisely it was at 7, 8.27 a.m. my time, Eastern time. He wrote, Dear Mrs. Erewa, please, I suggest that you verify and be certain of every information at your disposal before going public with it. This is not the first time, Deputy said. I felt obliged to respond to the email. Otherwise, I shouldn't, I should not. Because what you are saying is unsubstantiated. Every other thing raised by you in this email should be addressed by appropriate individual principal officers. Your allegation with reference to, to my appointment on radio, my announcement on Radio Biafra about Mazi Toshuku Ikwanusi is false. Please do, uh, please do the needful by furnishing the information on where, when, and how and uh, how, let me see, where is it here? Okay. How you got this misleading information on my announcement on Mazi Ikwanusi. Further, for the records, your approach is unnecessarily becoming antagonistic, disturbing, and uncalled for with the level of certainty, assertiveness, and weight you, at, uh, you, attach, you attach to unverified. If non-existence issues or information, but even if I made, here we go, but even if I made that announcement, and your declaration is that it is unacceptable, not recognized to you as indicated. The question now is, who do you recognize? Hear this now. Oh, the leader of IPOB, right? I'm reading. Deputy sent me this. Then he went on. But it is still the same leader of IPOB, Mazi Unamdikan, that asked me for announcements or any action to be taken on his behalf. Every announcement I make, any action to be taken on his behalf comes from him. When we come to when we came to the USA last year, 
under a strict instruction from him, our leader, you kicked against the decision. You continued with your own thing and ultimately went to see our leader himself. And I asked, if you believe in our leader and carry out instruction from him, how sincere are you when you rejected same instruction he sent through me or any other channel and unless you hear from him? He went on. I hope I have enough time. He went on. In the announcement I made, on the reverse structure administration of USA America. I did not announce any appointment of any principal officer. Contrary to what is being represented in your email, I attach the announcement for your information for your clarity purpose. The USA National Coordinator is in charge of USA National. He is in charge of USA executive member. If the USA National is in charge of the USA family, the appointment of the state rep is then one of his prerogatives. In collaboration, communication with American rep, and the DOS, that is, he notified the continental rep and the DOS in doing that, unless we are otherwise and in exception circumstances, uh, intervention came from IPOB leadership. How did you feel when you went to complain? Hear this now to complain against the same instruction that he gave, which you kicked against, but we are finally told that it was from him. You know, it went on. He said, please, you all should bear with me because I'm reading this directly here. He said, there is no grouping in IPOB where such expression is used, it is obviously from agents of destruction. Because uh, in my email, I asked about group, and, uh, you know, they keep changing. So he said it's from agent of destruction. So we must desist from using it to differentiate us from enemies of the struggle. We have IPOB families at unit zone, state, or national, regional, continental, and uh, worldwide or global level. Issues must be treated on its merits. I notice the principal servant you copied in this email, apart from those in the U.S., he mentioned one, uh, I'm going to keep that confidential, he mentioned one name of uh, BOS. He mentioned that name, uh, and uh, he said that uh, that uh, DOS uh, member is not in the USA. So I have no right to copy him, uh, 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 send a copy of the email to him. If I have time, I want to read my response. To, uh, to deputy in that uh, regard. Do I have time, please? Let me know. Mazi, do I have time to read that? <laughs> of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. You can, oh, oh, you can, oh, you okay. can go on. Okay, thank you very much. Please bear with me. I need to get my response that I sent to deputy. Um, the paper. Uh, please, just bear with me, folks, because it's very important. This part is very important, you know. Um, 
I have a lot of papers here, and I'm trying to get a very one that I use in responding to deputy leader, where I let him know um, I was very polite in my response, but I responded to him. And I am looking for it here. And I hope I find it. Oh my God, what's going on? Anyway, I don't want to keep people waiting, but I did respond to him. Anyway, in my response to deputy, I was very polite. I was very, you know, very reverent. I applied wisdom. I did let him know the five instances where he reprimanded me so he wouldn't say that I, I, I made up the, I concocted the story. I used the exact date, the time, the circumstances where I get query for him. Even though I did not write, I'm not even the one that wrote petitions, it was submitted. I got queried from him. I noted that. In my, in my response, I did let a deputy know that Toshuku Ikwanusi's calling, OBD, OBNU's calling, Clement Okoro calling is not my calling. I came into this struggle through our leader, and I did what I understood to be what I am supposed to do. So, I am my calling is leader's calling, is God's calling. And I also did in that letter let deputy know that I am not doing the, what I'm doing for position. I am not doing it because I'm looking for position or recognition. I am already known. I told, I, I mentioned it in that letter. If it is a being known, I'm already known, even before I joined IPOB. So anything I do in IPOB, I'm doing it for the struggle. I'm not doing it for recognition. I, I, meant, I mentioned that in the letter, you know? But then I also thanked him for standing by leader, even though I know that he's not with leader, because I knew by March 2018, I knew he wasn't with leader when he said IPOB is not under the leadership of Mazi Unamdi Khan. I, that, you know, and he couldn't tell me under whose leadership is my is uh, IPOB. So why should I be in DOS? You know, and meanwhile, OBD was knocking our head. I said I advised myself, and uh, that's when I I, I left uh, DOS because of OBD Obino, and also deputy not seeing that what OBD was doing is wrong. He will take side with OBD. So I felt that I don't want to become a victim, you know, to go to bed at my age with headache. So I carry my body, now I come out. So I knew all along that deputy was not with, um, he wasn't with leader. He wasn't by March because he said it that I think OB was not under the leadership of Mazi Namdi Khan. He warned us and they took his name from the flyer that we did. That's when I knew that they have never been and it was all facely. And so that's it. They scatter, they scatter. Even when we went to Atlanta, Georgia uh, last year, I, after we came back, I went to Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, I, I, you know, I went because of leader. You know, I went because of leader, and I knew all the shenanigans were doing it in that. Uh, in that, they were never with leader. Honest to God, 
I even thought that they will do this after Biafra don't come. That's what I thought. You know, when, they, when we don't get Biafra and everyone, they take care of their own. I thought that's when OB, the OBNU and the deputy will show themselves. I didn't know that they would do it even before the restoration of Biafra. So waiting on our scene, not be today, the planner. They planned it before today, before now. If not, uh, when leader was, uh, uh, leader's whereabouts was not known. Because they said it, that it was, IPOB was not under the leadership. In fact, they made it look like OBD, my own IPOB, uh, North America. And uh, the money, uh, not only God knows what they were doing, but we were sending our money. So that is what I know. So what you know they see uh, is not new. I knew myself. Even if, uh, you know, so it didn't come as a surprise to me. It only surprised me that it happened before the Afra was restored. So, Mazi, that is... Yes, yes. Madam Eriwa, <laughs> thank you very much. You know, this is um, a, a kind of expose. You know, but there is something I find amusing, or uh, hypocritical about... Um, the uh, 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 their own way of speaking now, madam. I think you can hear me, right? Yes, I can hear you very well. Okay, so you know, <laughs> you know what the the the, the first thing um, Uchimafu was saying. Oh, that um, Biafra should be inclusive. Even those in the river Rhine area should be should uh, be allowed to near be at the right hand side of our leader. Whereas um, he is showing a very bad example. Uh, don't you see that that is hypocritical? Very, very. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what OBD did. OBD two months ago. You know the riverland area, the young ones, they communicate with me, they reach out to me, they always share with me. Even oh, uh, this man, that they call, uh, they call him Okibe. You know Onyibe? Uzobo. Uzobo. Okibe. Okibe in Uzobo na scammer. Now they call Okibe. When you hear Okibe, you call Okibe. When you hear Okibe, you say, you all get them, you go back on shine Okibe. So, <laughs> you know, in brother, is tearing the delta apart. Onyibe's a younger brother also, one of his brothers. So the young people, they reach out to me. So one of them uh, is a constant. He reached out to me. He runs, uh, uh, he, he does this, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, announce, uh, he does his own uh, YouTube also. You know they they do they they, they do on uh, Facebook and so on. So when we were when this uh, episode uh, happened, he reached he called me. That was uh, two weeks ago, and uh, he was saying, "My goodness, that uh, is this something that Uchemepo did?" Ah. <laughs> I said, you know, say Papa, say Papa na US here yeah, do. Uh OB the OB. He said, wait, wait, wait. Because now only neither they call me. He said, only uh OB the OB. He said, no, OB the OB they inside too. Ah. I said, I papa now. I said they are all together. Now with the same wings they all get with Okibe. He said, only you know what? I said, what thing happened? He said two months ago, two months ago, he said, Obi the Obi Enu Kola. Me kuna de hear this o. Obi the Obi Enu Kola. He said Obi the Obi Enu Kola. They tell us say they want open studio for him. Make it a do broadcast. He said so. He tell Obi do. He said, "Now nah, in tell Obi, he say, make him think about it.' And uh, it's Obi the talent, say, make him not worry. 
say they go furnish the studio. He said, now he tell and say, make him think about it and he go get back to Ram. He say, the reason why he never get back to OBD, OBN, now he say, instead they uh, try to put in thoughts how he go do one. Now I tell him, say, don't you dare. Two weeks ago, I said, don't do it. I said, if that, I said, he said, he said no, no. He said, just OBD, still there for uh, happy OB, dead DOS. Now I say no. He say, who you say that DOS? Uh, now I ask him to come. Tell him. Now I say no. I saw the do she me for. They are all bunch of gangs. And I'm in part to be the OB. No, I say now the thing. Now she me for Papa Naibi. I say so. If OB do call you, just tell her, say you are with our leader. I say go peace for part. I say so. Don't you do it. He taught me. They were trying to coerce a lot of young coasters. If I type, there is a young coastal lady, female, who now call me today on WhatsApp, thanking me because she was going to leave IPOB because the, the kind of information they were, she is in the Afrogan. Now come the tell her, now you see. She thanks me. So OBD, OBNU, all the thing when they, they do not be saying that how they will lie and coerce and deceive all these young people uh, to make them come to the side of uh, of uh, the one who, who know in a waiting be name, which I'm phone I be name. Sorry, Mazi, that I it's, I uh, it's, it's horrible, honestly, it's horrible. Honestly, you know, um, uh, what I used to say, uh, many people, some people came to this um, uh, struggle with different mindset, with different ambitions. And let me tell you, you know, when our leader said that Biafra uh, uh, casts out demon, people think uh, that uh, it's a joke. It's true. If you come into this struggle, with uh, uh, you know a, the goal of uh, having an, an, a, a position or money or what you can gain or fame, I'm telling you, <laughs> you you are you are you are you are in a very wrong place. You are in for a very big mistake and shock. That is what I used to tell people because this is a struggle ordained by Chukwu Kikabia. This is is a fact. It's a fact. So I thank you very much uh, for taking your time in order to clarify some issues and expose things of which, um, you know, I know uh, they are calling, even since I know they call people, they tarnish people's image, you know, even OP, they calls people tarnishing even your image on people. I know that, you know, so um, it's horrible, honestly, but uh, we must continue. It's just to put a clarity, yeah. clarification on things because, you know, some people, some of our people, some of them, I don't know whether they have a strong ear. We call it intiken, you know. But uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, do you have any other things to say before I continue? Because I'll. Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, people always know me. Because I'm an old school person and I always like to use song as an encouragement. So let me just sing this song quickly from the hymn book. Please yes, do. it's for, it's a, it's a courage, you know. It goes like this. <clears throat> courage, comrades, do not stumble. Though the path may be dark. Last night, put it bravely, strong and hopeful, trust in God and do the right. Thanks to God for all his mercies. Praise the Lord for his kind. Always move up to his glory. Trust.
trust in God and do the right. And that's exactly what our leader is doing. I urge every one of us to stand by our leader. All the young people, close friends, who are not saying who are behind, who are dead behind, who are blind, wake up, join the struggles, start a leader because all this corona, let me not listen to that. Now, co-host, now I did. So, now my word of advice, now give una, now give every one of us, and we thank our leader. God will bless him. Thank you so much, uh, Mazi, uh, for all you all are doing. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to come and share what I know truthfully to God. And uh, I will say, IPOB one family, all here be Afra, we must continue. Well, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Yeah, can uh, you hear me? Yes, of course. The whole world is listening. The whole world is hearing you. You can now take over the microphone.